volunteers needed for the Idaho Falls Zoo's annual cleanup day. Yay! Now I want Probably you to lots think, of poops. Think about how fun it is to clean up your own yard <laughs> if you're a pet owner <laughs> after the spring. Right, right. You know all those days where you didn't feel like going out and cleaning up after your pet. I sure do. <laughs> when it was, you know, 10, 20 degrees. Mm-hmm. And then you just have to make up for it in the spring. So that's a lot of fun. Now imagine doing that for animals two to three to ten times the size. Or if you have a chihuahua, like a hundred times the size. I imagine there will be a lot of cleaning up poop. Yeah, there's got to be. Oh, you got to bring your own supplies. Look, this sounds like... This sounds, sounds like, like some, something for people who love animals. Right. Some really charitable, critter-loving folks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or love the zoo. Yeah. I'd do it for the zoo. Yeah. I'd do it for the zoo. You know, and here's the thing, too. Kermy. <laughs> Rango. Second episode in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing. Rango is a really small dog. And realistically, generally, he has really small poops. But every now and then, dude, he'll lay down a log. You know, like call a lumberjack for that thing. <laughs> you know? So I'm just saying, if these animals are anything like him, there's going to be some that are pretty dang big. Like some, after the end, you're like, you feel like you should put on a rubber glove and apply a little desitin. Because <laughs> you know that created a... Uh, not a hemorrhoid. What's it called? Anal fissure. Yeah, probably. Those are the worst. <laughs> Yikes. I have a personal story about those. It's not quite like Paul Rudd and this is 40. Okay. But close. I won't share it this time. Okay. I'm sure there's going to be a better time than the <laughs> Easter episode <laughs> to talk yeah, about plus, anal fissures. Yeah, we've talked a lot about a lot of gross stuff. Not anyway. fun. Yeah, let, let's get to something more pleasant. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Lincoln Post. Okay. Sorry, I was thinking about Rango laying down a log. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Rango's links in post. <sighs> Lango's, Rango's Lincoln logs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With, spring, <laughs> with spring here, summer's not so far behind, Memorial Day weekend coming mm -hmm. up. One of my favorite things, I go and just at least do a drive-by every year. The Field of Honor at mm -hmm. Freeman Park, that's where they put, put up at least 100 flags. Right. Maybe more? They put up quite a few. And so I shot a video one Memorial Day. You know how much I love the rain, and you're kind of yeah. with me on that. Oh, yeah. I'm I totally love. down. You know, here's the thing. I've been going to the park a little bit more often this last few these last few days, and Get I'm already getting a little color. Oh, really? So I love the rain because I'm too pale for the sun. Mm -hmm. But it was just beautiful. I shot, you know, these flags kind of waving in the gentle rain. Mm -hmm. Talk to the exchange club people who are super nice. If you want to honor our heroes... This is a powerful way to make them feel appreciated mm -hmm. and respected. Yeah, definitely. Oh, you can sponsor one of 1,000 flags. There we go. That sounds more accurate. Not 100. I was like, it's got to be more than 100. Yeah, 100 seems kind of piddly. <laughs> it's a cool site. Fieldofhonor.net. Lincoln Post. <laughs> <laughs>